t minus 10 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff of our first suborbital sounding rocket, an improved Orion, beautiful launch. We have our range optics tracking cameras on the rocket now. Thirty seconds into flight. As you can see, they're pretty fast. If you blink, you just might miss them. <laughs> we had a really good launch there. Uh, looking at a nice view of the island here from pad 0A looking north towards those sounding rocket pads. We just had liftoff of our first of two planned launches today of an improved Orion suborbital sounding rocket. You can see our second rocket right there on the on the pad in the in the foreground. Again, just a one stage rocket, only about nine feet tall. So definitely among uh, one of the smaller rockets we launch here from our facility. But uh, still quite capable, again, uh, going uh, into space to an altitude of about 71 miles uh, to conduct these technology demonstration missions today. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine, Good job, Radar ten. Three. Radar Three is tracking. All radars are tracking. You got a good track in, uh, on the rocket. Uh, nice shot there from Range Optics. Again, these are fast movers. If you were out there, if you blinked, you might have missed it. But uh, we have it here online, live for you. And PM, all assets tracking. PM copies, great job. Uh, looking good. Two launches there for you on a Thursday morning, all before 7.30 a.m. Here's just a view uh, looking north on Wallops Island from Pad 0A. These missions today, again, we launched two improved Orion suborbital sounding rockets. Just one stage rockets, about nine feet tall each going into space to an altitude of 71 miles, flying a suborbital trajectory as we're testing out not just the performance of the launch vehicle, but new payload designs that are gonna help us conduct studies in the mesosphere. That's a part of our atmosphere just above the stratosphere, about 30, between 31 and 53 miles. A lot of neat science there um, as it relates to upper atmospheric chemistry, upper atmospheric winds, and even studies of meteor ab ablation. But these rockets today, um, they're actually surplus motors that we get from, uh, from the military. Uh, this, this gives us a low cost access to space. 
which is one of the hallmarks of our programs here at Wallops, not just in sounding rockets, but, uh, but in all we do. Well, once again, we're glad you joined us today. Um, stay tuned for our next launches planned from the facility. You can always follow us uh, on social media at NASA Wallops or go check out our website at www.nasa.gov wallops. All of our launch information is there. Uh, we do have a busy spring coming up. And uh, again, we're, we're, we're glad you followed us here today and uh, we hope to see you back for, uh, for our next launch. Until then, take care, enjoy this day, and uh, thanks for being with us. This is Wallops Control, signing off.